How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video and also the first video of 2021. Uh, you're joined back with me, Jamie, at Scrub Games with uh, the next video on archetypes in the Cube Draft 101 series and this time we're going over the Earthlings archetype. Uh, so like the other one, we're going to go over the bait, not going to go over a single Earthling card that's in the cube or that can be put in the cube, we're just going to go over like the different parts of this uh, archetype but go in it more detailed than we did in the uh, first video about archetypes. So Earthlings are a good one. They're, I think they're the second. No, they are the second uh, most represented uh, archetype, well, tr character trait in Dragon Ball, and they come up with. They provide a lot of the, uh, nice cards, a lot of uh, strong potential cards as well. And this video is just gonna go over the different one, uh, different things you can put in, and uh, what makes it quite a, quite a strong archetype. So the first thing it's got is it's got quite a few good searchers. So with the searchers, it's got quite a few different varied ones. We've got one of each in different color. Like we've got the uh, my as shown on the field, uh, shown on the screen, which goes over the which basically just searches top five for a, a four cost or less of any color. So it's quite good for allowing you to transition into dual, dual color within the cube because you can have red with this uh, with my and search over into uh, earthlings of different colors. And it allows you to it, just any any um, any earthling of four or less you can search, which is quite good. It gives you a bit, uh, a bit more synergy uh, when deck building after drafting, and also is a is a very strong card. As in, uh, if you have my early, you know that any earthling you do end up drafting from the cube, you can then potentially make uh, have a way to search it a lot easier. So you can see more, uh, see it a bit better. And same with uh, uh, Bulma God Temper. Temper so is never searcher, but more of a specific one. So it's a uh, one. Of, it's a searcher for Weiss card. So this, uh, so this allows you to go into multicolor because you can search the Super Combo Weiss, the uh, red yellow one. You can also search for ever strong Weiss cards, like even in blue, there's the one drop that allows you to once per turn discard a card to draw a new card, which is very strong. So it's searcher for that. Gives you a nice bit of synergy, and search is always pretty good. And for one cost, then once they've done the search, they're a nice 5k combo power for defense or offense. So Krillin is the same thing, um, but it's more for, it's more for uh, green unisons. So you can have a look. At, so you can look at the top either use its effect to make yourself a blocker. So it's got a like utility in either being a searcher or a blocker, which is quite nice. And it ties in with the Krillin, um, the Krillin and Goku. Uh, support from Clash of Fates, that kind of like individual small archetype within uh, Earthlings. And then lastly, we've got the on screen, we've got the things like Bulma, which is the top three searcher for baby or brainwash cards. So it helps with that archetype. So as you can see, Earthlings have quite a few searches, some ties into different archetypes or different, um, grab different cards outside the Earthling archetype. Uh, and they will bring a lot more stability and consistency when building a deck. And one thing Earthlings do have that uh, not ma not many of the archetypes have that is that strong is draw power. So as you can see from the screen, it's got a few cards. All these cards draw in some capacity. You've got Dependable Mum, which why is not a cantrip. So uh, if you don't know what a cantrip is, it's basically a card that you normally have an effect on, but like it normally draws you next to a card. And Bulm is one that could potentially be used constantly and draw you multiple cards for free. So plusing after after the first one because you normally play it, then you draw one, you replace itself. But any turn after that, then you're plus one every turn it survives. And the same thing can be said about Karen of Videl. Uh, Videl's got also with it, uh, with itself the Goku's lineage tag, which means it opens up um, opportunities with that, like with the Bardock that's in the cube as well that you can go into pop, uh, play this. So you can play out cheaper for two. And, but it's just a very good card. Uh, they're both very good cards in, it, in the fact that they draw you a card and boost up for 5k. So if you can protect it or it stays around, you get more cards and more power on some one of your cards as well. And in every one we've got, uh, so those, those are the ones that are recurring, um, recurring draw power, which is very strong. And we have the ever, uh, never read one, Bomber from the Sidelines is a very good one. It's more reliant on Saiyans uh, to get the draw, but it's nice for. Um, Deck thinning uh, as the fact that when you play it, as long as you've got Sen on board in your battle area, you can draw two cards and then discard, discard two cards. So it lets you draw more in front of your deck because there's some things you might want in drop or you might not be useful at the moment. You can discard it or grab it back later. And same thing goes with Fletching, uh, fletching Tap Pan 
but rather than being an auto when you play it, it's just every turn activate activate main. And this is one of the cards like cards like fetching talent pan, it ones that I want always look to grab when playing uh, cube because once you, if you can get out early. Because every turn you're discarding a card that you can't use or don't want, they draw a brand new card, I meaning you're deck fitting faster from your opponent. Because while they've got basically any any amount of cards, uh, ways they got the draw, you got that plus one technically. And it works in synergy with cards that you want in the drop or to trigger by being discarded, like for example, the godly Beerus, uh, Beerus Godly Majesty, things like that. But as you can see, uh, these are only a few examples or some of the really good examples, but there's quite a lot of draw power with Nerflings. It's more of a generic uh, archetype that helps you generate a lot of advantage and keep consistency. Now, one thing it's got a lot of as well is super combos. So, as you can see, uh, Earthlings have a super combo in every color, and they have quite a few in different colors. While, like, while Earthlings have um, quite a lot of support in red, and even more of their like uh, contained support in red, being like or some red stuff that supports just red Earthlings. You got um, Earthlings in every color, and a lot of uh, good cards that. Uh, can you also grab your super combos as well? Like um like the as I said, the Mai, the searcher can grab your super combo as well, which is quite nice. And it just gives you it just opens up a lot. Like Mai is one of the probably best uh earthling cards due to the fact that it can grab your super combos and grab your draw power, it can grab you almost anything. Um and it can give you that nice utility as well to make it more consistent in your deck. But a lot of the there's a lot of rifflings in the super uh, super combos as well, and also the note that I should have not know at the beginning is that um, I've only tried to include more focus on just like the soul earthlings and not anything, not any cards that are like say an earthling and things like that, because uh, they're normally supported by just things like uh, this earth the uh, earthling saying cards and more supported by their own um, archetypes like trunks, for example, is like the only future trunks kind of uh, archetype um, things like that. I say with the Goten, Gotenks and Trunk stuff, uh, I'm not including that because that's more of their own archetype as well, so I try to focus more on the uh, just pure earthlings. But yeah, uh, every, um, it opens up, they like they got quite a few su uh, different super combos, multiple ones in each colour, so it's a good support in that, meaning that you've got, uh, if you have got a searcher for any certain character, or even just earthlings in general, then you've got uh, easy ways to make sure, make sure you can grab your super combos and stuff. And you've also got some other combo cards that are um, quite strong as well to help with. So as you can see, uh, Earthlings are quite a few cards. So when you combo it, you get some benefits. So Master Roshi helps with um, helps uh, out when you go uh, with your multicolor cards. So if you have to charge one, if you try to charge one early because you want to get in um, on in your energy, a dual color card that help maintain your energy efficiency. And but it's if it's one that you want to have for later. Roshi gives you an option to always grow it back as well and replace it with something else. Heavy Kick Creating is, is another one that more supports blue, giving you a pseudo, uh, pseudo super combo because it gives you that 10k because it gains 5k when you combat a few leaders blue and you have a more color card in your energy, which leaves the pull off. And you've got things like Fortune Barber, which have effects when they combo like minusing things by power, and then same with Krillin by uh, being on the drop things from your opponent's super combo area when combo from your, from your battle area. So they've got quite a few uh, unique combo cards in this in Earthlings as well. Um, they help they help things like Barber can help get rid of your opponent's cantrips. If they swing, you can combo this off to uh, avoid taking damage and then get rid of the, the cantrips. And same with Negotiate Krillin, if they try to combo things like Warcry, uh, Bardock Raiders Warcry, you got Negotiate Krillin to just sack it off from their, from their uh, combo area, which is quite interesting and quite nice. And another thing. Um, our things have that's quite unique to it. Uh, the archetype are negates, and what I mean, I don't mean just like standard negates. I mean negates that you can uh, that play themselves. So as you can see, the three strongest examples of these are the two Roshis and Videl, like each within blue, red, and yellow respectively. Like green, I think green has some, but it's more in the arch uh, androids because androids normally occupy most of the green. And you've got the benefit of just being a one cost negate, just negate attack, and then you can after that use them off for a 5k combo, which is very strong. This is um, more, I think the most of them are in Earthlings, and also they, as you can see, they support the Universe 7 tag with the Roshis, giving you some Universe 7 support. If you do decide to include in your cube things like the uh, uh, making U7 archetype properly in it, covering all colors, 
these uh, the, the slide into that as well. Uh, but these are very strong cards as well, and so, some things that have uh, quite a good option as well. I think there are a few other negates, there are things, but I think they might be cost more. These are the only ones that cost one that I could find. And as I said before as well, a contained uh, archetype within Earthlings would be the Krillin archetype. So if you don't know what it means, uh, back in Clash of Fates, we got uh, two four cost Krillins and a card and a Goku card that ties in well with it. It's like a small little package. Uh, by uh, I don't have to Goku up because I forgot to search it. But basically, what the Goku does is, if a four cost I think it's a, I can't remember if it's green or just I know it's a four cost Krillin that I can't remember if it has to be green is uh, uh basically KO'd in your battle is removed from your battle area then you get the play itself for free from your hand and it's got an effect of it uh when it's played if your lead is green well if your lead is green as well um there's more green support as well as Krillin support and uh it gets to KO something through barrier so it's a nice little um uh, so as you do, and the Krillin's come in quite a few. There's a ne never one as well, which is the uh, search which the one in the searches as well. That can become four costs when you if you've got a Goku card. And luckily in the cube there is a uh, green in my cube. There is one green Goku card to make it basically make that uh, to make things like Krillin call for help and the ever Goku uh, an option for that package. Because the, the crinkle for help is still good as a cantrip, because as you see, when you play your draw card, but it's got a bonus effect of if you have a green Goku lead and it's flipped over, it becomes a four cost to fit in with that theme. And then with the Krillin, you've got quite a few good fights. So you've got Steadfast, uh, you've got Krillin, Steadfast Defender, which is probably one of the best ones. If you've got 10 in your drop, it becomes a two cost. And it's got the effect of when you play it, it's then a, four, it's then a blocker to fulfill the help of making sure it dies to trigger the Goku. And also the benefit of uh, when you play it, draw two cards and then discard a card, which is very nice. So a bit more searching and deck fending as well, which is very strong. And then also it also includes a persistent assault grid, which is like a, uh, a never deadly defending green, because green is one of the two colors that has uh, three deadly defenders: the ever color in blue, because it's got uh, persistent krillin, it's got Ribrian and has also got the Deadly Defender 18. So if you're in, if you're grafting green, you could potentially have three uh, three Deadly Defenders from three, two, and four. No, sorry, three, two, three, four, and five, to make it harder for your opponent to actually connect to your leader. So it becomes Barrow as well, which is great. It draws your card, which is nice, and then it forces your opponent if you, uh, if your leader is green to have to attack itself in rest if when it's in rest to be able to attack your leader. Uh, and it stops all your opponent's cards, so it's not um so none of your opponent's cards to attack the leader, which is good. And it forces that if they have to get to your leader you have to KO this, and if they do you can trigger the Goku. I see with Fed and duo Krillin, it's just a four cost blocker to be able to enable that, but it also has effect when you play it, you can KO you KO one of your opponent's battle cards, which is very strong. So you can play this, KO something, block with it, dies, and then play the Goku to KO something else as well, which is very strong. It's a nice, very nice thing. Uh, package. I haven't been the port up yet in my cube just because I've not often normally when I've seen a Goku. I've not. I've sometimes I will grab the Goku if I see it. If I'm drafting green with a green leader, I'll grab the and I see the Goku, I'll grab it. But sometimes I don't always see the Krillins. But then that's the thing with cube. Uh, one time, like you're more likely to draft almost everything as long as you try to like try to commit to it. Like you can take a risk and try to uh, draft. Certain things, put your mind to it, try and draft certain things, and other things that just basically come to you. And the last thing I was going to go over is the heavy ears and earthlings. I heard earthlings have some quite a few strong heavy ears. Uh, I got three up of the probably best examples on board. That being the Yamcha does the does it, you know, which is more focused for red, um, but it can still be using anything that isn't red. Like you have to have a uh, focus on red to play it because it requires four specified, uh, three specified red to play it as, as a four cost. And if you have a red leader, so if you go like all red, including leader, it becomes a 30k. But it's very strong in the fact that it's got two strong autos. First one, where if your opponent tries to count, uh, if it attacks, your opponent uses a counter, switches like that to most, it can get every swing. And then the ever also of when it KOs the most battle card, you switch to active mode and it gains an ever 10k and trouble strike. So uh, at the maximum, you can get three swings out of this with the last one. Uh, well, you can get a free 
two, two, you can get three swings of them, two being 30k and one being 40k and with the last one being uh, 40k triple strike which is very uh, scary and very strong then you've got things like Master Roshi, um, Maximum Muscle, very good late, uh, late game finisher it's got a critical dual attack barrier which is getting in two swings that swings at leader which they're not either comboing out of or losing uh, advantage that way and barrier means it's hard to remove it's got a nice it's got uh, two strong autos first one being it uh, when you play it you get to remove two battle cards from your opponent's field back to the bottom of the deck so they're not getting it back in any way it's because the bottom of the deck so it's not going to hand so you can combo off it's going to the bottom of the deck so they have to draw through the deck to get hold of it again and then at the end of your turn, every time at the end, every turn at the end of your turn, you get a draw one as well. So you gain some advantage if you can't kill them that turn. But you put a lot of pressure on with it. And the more you can defend it, the harder it's going to impact your opponent. And then lastly, we've got the Tian Shin Han, eye for an eye. This is a five cost, so in between the first two. Critical dual attacks so are like uh, Roshi on 25k as well. It's going to pressure hard, and it's got a nice auto when you play it. You can choose one of your opponent's battle cards and minus it by 25k power for the turn. It means you can get through the hole if it's destroyed because it's reduced with power and uh, get rid of sink and then swing for a lot of damage and a lot of pressure to force your opponent to lose cards to combo it because no one wants to take critical hits. But then if you, uh, so they're very strong hitters and our earthlings get quite a lot of support in that fact. Uh, but that's everything for that's everything I want to go over for Earthlings. So you've got it goes covers quite a few things. Uh, very strong arch type as well. Um, one thing I do want to note is uh, if you are watching this because you're interested in cube and I found my channel and like cube drafting and Dragon Ball, or haven't or, or haven't played it but is inter but you're interested in it, I urge you to join the cube drafting uh, Dragon Ball Super Group on Facebook. Uh, link is down in the comments uh, description below I've managed to now finally include my cube up there uh, cube list up there so if you're looking for a base or just want to use my cube and then improve upon it you're welcome to it's on the group uh, or if you just want to see a uh, kind of example before you're building your cube you're welcome to do that as well uh, and as I said as I keep saying any questions about it or any questions you have about cube drafting feel free to comment in any of the cube draft videos I'll see it and I'll reply to it as best I can to help because that's what I want to do help out with um, help people uh, that are interested in this format get into this format because it is very enjoyable and I'm loving it uh, all the time to play because I play it I do a tournament every Sunday at 12 o'clock UK time to a uh, cube draft which is so far very fun and I've updated the list as well, so it includes up to, uh, includes set twelve cards. So it's updated as of set twelve uh, release. Um, but yeah, thank you for today. Uh, well, thank you for watching. This has been a shorter video as well because it's a lot less to cover than it was for the uh, skillness. Skillness had a lot of stuff and different, uh, a lot more things. Um, and as as usual, if you're interested in cube drafting, uh, join the group. If you're interested, if you like my content and want to see more and keep up to date with it, feel free to subscribe or even as well like my Facebook page that's down in the uh, description below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and found the information useful, and also comment as I said to, if you have any questions I've answered or anything you want me to cover. Comment down below and I'll try and make a video or cover it in some way, shape, or form for you. So that's, that's everything from me in this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, of the Cube Draft 101 series archetypes going over the next one for you. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.